All right, guys, welcome to Road to Vostok. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into one of the brand new demos released from Road to Vostok. This game introduces realistic survival mechanics like hunger, thirst, fatigue, alongside safe zones, loot crates, where you can store all your valuable loot for your gear hungry hoarders out there. So if you haven't heard, Road to Vostok has been created by a single developer, and honestly, I am seeing a lot of progression made within a short time frame through all the struggle this game has been through. To draw a comparison, think of Road to Vostok as a version resembling SPT solo player talk off with stalker vibes. The future development will bring an immersive world enriched with dynamic events like crash sites, airdrops, ambushes, and special trading quests. As players navigate this hostile environment, crossing border zones offer both challenges and rewards on the journey into Road to Vostok. And yes, there's permadeath. Let's get it. All right, guys, welcome to the attic. So this is considered the safe zone here. As you can tell, I've got my arsenal built up, got some weapon modifications added. I'll have to show you those here in a minute. We've got a radio and toggle on a little light here as well. We've got a television, which we currently cannot use. And it looks like we've got some sleeping gear down here. We can't use this yet, but I think this will be used later on in the future, possibly possibly to cycle between day and night shifts and whatnot. And then we've got another little computer over here too as well we can interact with. It currently says no floppy disk. So I'm not sure what that's going to be used for. I've got some hours involved in this game so far with looting. Currently I have not came across any floppy disk as of now. Let me know in the comment section if any of you guys actually encounter that. So going over all the different weapons here, we've got the KP-31. I think this was actually in the last demo, considered with the Mosin, the 870, but we've got the suppressor on there. It looks like the Osprey. And then we also got the AKU along with the SVD. I'm not sure if the SVD was actually used in the last patch or not, but um, VSS we can now have access to. The RK-95 MK-18. The MP7 here, which is pretty, pretty badass looking. I mean, just look at the glare to this gun here. It's just, it's pretty sick. And then it looks like we've got the MP5 as well. AK-12, CAR-21. And I believe we actually have quite a bit of modifications we can actually add to some of these guns. As you can tell, the muzzle, this one currently we could add a bigger barrel with the scope as well. And a lot of them are just mainly scopes and muzzles, but I think this is the only one that we could actually add the bigger barrel size to. Go ahead and pick that up here. So we can drop weapons, we can pick them up, and then pretty much place them on our board here, which is pretty cool. And that is the safe zone here. So let's go ahead and push out and check out some of these new maps. And we've also got a trader to showcase to you guys as well. All right, so making our way out of the safe zone here, which is the attic. We are back into the original village from the first demo here, except they've added where you can get through these doors and literally go up there into your attic. There's one little loading screen. These doors are actually really buttery smooth. I like the movement of the entire game. It seems like it's pretty promising for the future of Road to Vostok. So as you can tell, we're all, we've all seen this little uh, environment here, except they've added this traitor here, which I believe his name is the Generalist. As you can tell, he's age 62, loyalty level one. We're currently profit 20, resupply time is 10. So we, we can actually buy all the different types of ammo. He's he, he fluctuates on different types of gear depending on every time you enter into another map or exit another map, he'll change gear depending on those time frames. So let's see what we can offer him for the trade. So we've got some more ammo. I've got another med kit here. We can have more weapons and whatnot. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much the trader here. Let's go ahead and push the other side of the map, and I'll show you guys some of this uh, loot we can actually use over here as well. Just got to watch out for enemy hostiles. They're usually in the area here. Here's one. Oh, ah. 
Ooh, he hit me hard from way over there. Now the AI do need a little bit of work. Let's see, grab some more ammo here. There we are. Got another suppressor, a few suppressors. So as you can tell, all this loot pretty much randomizes. We don't need that. Definitely need some more med kits. As you can see, we've got another book back here as well. Which we don't need yet. Go ahead and heal up. Took a pretty hard hit here. And I think once you get hit with this by a certain NPC, maybe this is considered permadeath here. Now there's quite a bit of stuff you can actually loot. You can even loot the uh, garbage bags here, which is pretty cool. Got some more stuff as well, plus loot all over the floor you can grab. Now everything's never the same. It always changes depending on uh, every time you go in and out of the safe zone, which I find it quite interesting. Oh, I'm like bleeding really bad. Let's see if I can head back to the safe zone and put my stuff away so I don't die. Another NPC to my right. A way to stop that, maybe the CMOS? Oh no, this might be the enemy, guys. Okay, so you have to use the SOS. That was so close, okay. Whew. All right, let's grab the CMO back again. We'll go ahead and grab just enough where I need to survive. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I think the chances of that are happening are slim. So it's always good to carry an SOS and save it. Well, it's nighttime in the winter and we've got the Northern Lights. It looks really good. All right, so let's go push the other side of the map, kind of showcase those to you guys. We've got the highway to the right. And then we've got another section here to the left as well. See if I can push out of here without getting shot at. That was close. Let's keep pushing. The shipyard. So we've got the shipyard, and then we've got the highway over there. So then we're going to go visit the shipyard first. All right, so the shipyard. This is one of the new maps. So if you've got a building over here, we can loot that. It's got some computer consoles in there with the floppy disk. And then we've got that NPC up there, too, as well. Let's get out of range of fire here. I don't want to get shot. We've got lockers, the 1911. We'll go ahead and grab that. So we've got lockers we can loot. Got some corpses here. Grab some food, just in case. I'm uh, gonna be hungry along the way. And yeah, there's another console over here as well too. Currently we do need floppy disk to be able to activate these. I'm not sure what the intentions are gonna be. But maybe we could find some kind of lore on what's going on. Got a scope. Another dead body under here. I like it because you can loot literally a lot of the stuff that, uh... I did not think you can actually loot. We've got another crate under here as well. Jeans, fleece. One thing that I do need is a rig. And some headwear and a face mask. There we go. Took a few shots, but we got him. All right, so you guys get the logistics of the building here, what you can loot and what you cannot loot. We've got a radio there as well. Let's go ahead and push back downstairs and see what this map is all about. 
All right, so I had to give the shotgun a try. This thing just looks absolutely insane. Oh, he's close by somewhere. Maybe he's down here. There he is. Nice. So we've got the guy up there. As you can tell, we could actually loot these. But the durability is garbage, and they don't sell worth crap anyway. For low-level players, or if you don't have any kind of loot, they're probably the best way to go. Grab some soup. Looks like I'm needing some hydration as well. Nothing in the tent there. Now, the Glock surprisingly does quite well. Probably gonna get shot at. Got some more tents up here as well, which is pretty interesting. Could turn on the fire. Doesn't look like any loots over here, but... Just a perfect time to play some tunes, eh? Now you can literally walk anywhere with this thing. Probably fall right off this building planet, to be honest. I wonder if I'd still play it if I fell all the way down. All the way to my death. So this map does look pretty good in the snow. I like how the snow covers everything. Ooh. Let's get down. He doesn't want none of this Asval action, does he? I think the best bet is to move around here. There's this little section up here we can get on top of. And let's make a run for it. Now you do have to jump on top of this because you do stop here. Got some more garbage bags we can loot. Now this little scaffolding will take you to the top. There's really nothing up there, just for a... a scout, if you want. Now I've got to find that other NPC. Ooh. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's back. Oh! There he is. Maybe he was shooting me through the, uh, through the crack there? Unless he's another, there's another one. There's got to be another one around. I mean, what's wrong, buddy? You didn't like my guitar skills or what? There he is. I wonder if I could get him with a Glock. Ooh, he's a deadly one. I don't want to take that chance. to put him down. He looks like he had, uh, rabies. He's one of those cheeky bricky fellas, huh? Alright, so we've all been on that side of the map. Now, the only thing that I can see down here is just a little loot crate and another fire pit for some more guitar solos. That's pretty cool. I like the look of those northern lights. I can't get can't get used to those guys. Alright, so let's make it back outside and head over to the highway and give you guys a little showcase of that. Alright, so we made it on the highway. see some matches. Hopefully I want to get some consumables here because I'm going to be a little bit far away from the safe zone. I 
I like how you can actually loot these as well. So we've got windbreakers, more garbage bags. Looks like there's another section we could actually enter in and get closer to road to Vostok. All right, he's down. You've got to watch out for these NPCs because they will tag you from a good distance. Another one over here. Looks like we've got another little fire pit over here. Ooh, he got me. Sit down, bud. All right, it looks clear. I think that was the last guy. Usually there's only like one in here. This time there was three. Don't want to loot the AK. Got a fleece, a book, or a hoodie, and a fishing book. Thought that was a book. All right, off to the minefield. Let's go ahead and reload. Sounds like a chopper. Got some NPCs up here as well. There he is. He's over there in the distance. So we're we're in one of the border zones. Towers look clear. I'm just going to push it, guys. Got to watch all these mines. As you can see, there they all are. Let's get behind here so I can heal up. Looks like I've got a little bleed going. Now, I want to save this one just in case I get the permadeath. I definitely don't want to be using that up. Nice. Looks like he's dead. We've got another over here. We had another. There he goes. These guys must come from a particular faction. They're actually everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to stay back here. Gotta get an eye on him, though. There he is. Alright, I've gotta watch these landmines. I think they're all over the place. RK-95. So you get a little bit better loot in this area. I'm definitely going to pick those up. You don't see the trader with the RK-95 too often. I 
I wanted to get up there, but I don't think I'm able to. There's definitely a lot of hostiles in this area. Ooh, he was sneaking up on me. They just keep coming. Oh my god! Landmine! Alright, we can't shoot him. And I've got to get back, or at least watch out for these guys. I think at this point, I'm gonna have to use one of the SOS's and slow walk ourselves past these mines and hope to god we can stay alive i think these mines are more deadly than these npcs to be honest but anyways let's get it Right, so we have activated the permadeath zone. This is going to be lethal. Where is this guy? Oh, wait a minute. I knew something was shooting from behind me. I'm guessing these not these bots are not as broken as I thought they were. All right, we've got an area over there. Looks clear for the most part. dead body. Here he is. Definitely not taking a chance. Not with permadeath on our... against our side here. some more ammo. Oh. Ooh, he might have got me. Alright, there's another one over here. Two of them? Three of them? Great. There's got to be some cover here. site. I haven't seen these ones yet in game.
There he is, he's right below me. Yeah, this looks like the dead end here. This is as far as we can go in this demo. I betcha he wasn't expecting that on me, huh? Oh, there we go. Finally found one. Got a rig. Military craze. Ooh. That's gotta be behind me or there we go. Got a little head headpiece. Now I need a face mask, light and a map. Which we do have our tack light here. Oh maybe he was shooting at me through this vicinity over here. Hold him down like a lawn chair. A battery. Definitely want that can of food. Another guitar, I'll take it. Upon release, the uh, modders get a hold of it and literally turn it into a, a stalker scenario. Oh, he's nearby me. What's in this body here? Nothing. So far, guys, let me know what you guys think of it so far in the comment section below. I definitely have high hopes for this game. It definitely is next level. I mean, the AIs are far from being there, but the concept of this game and the hard work the developers putting in, I really believe that this game is going to have some potential in the future. But anyways, guys, thank you everybody for coming. Make sure you smash that like button. Download the game. It's completely free. Try out the demo. Give it a try yourselves. It's definitely fun. Anyways, guys, until next time, we will catch you in the next video.